Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play Blood Moon. Where is that magical dagger? There it is. Aha, right, brilliant. When we last left off, we just popped home to uh, tidy up a little bit, drop off a few things. Aha. Come on, let's get out. Let's shut the door so no one can get in. And uh, up the stairs we go. Excuse me, Mr. Fabricant. Excuse me. Take a good, good care of my house. That's not a problem. I suppose I have a moment. Oh yes, we'll have to find your amulet as well. Right, travel me to cool. Twenty grand. Our money's building up a little bit more now. Why walk when you can run? Which is good. Is that battle music? Transport me to Frostmorph. Right, and then up to the lake we go. Actually, on our way back, we might as well. Oh. All I ask for is a what we might as well do is report back to say that uh, what's been happening with the Nords. You guys have not Nordic. been at work at all, have you? You've just been dilly dallying. To the general quarters. Where is he? Where you are? There you are. Hello. I find the captain. And the skull said they know nothing of the attack. Interesting. I have no doubt that they were not the instigators of this horror, but I do believe they know more than they let on to you. For now, return to them. Live among them for a time and see what you might learn. Take care with them, Hexem. They live by a strict code, and you will be expected to follow it while you are with them. Okay. Right. Just thought we'd quickly report back, just in case anyone was suspicious about our abs absence. What we'll do, I think I'm going to lay down a little bit of a plan. I plan to... Oh, there's a wolf. Uh, we'll complete this quest that we've got to do at the moment to deal with this Dregor Lord, this Dregor Necromancer. No one north. Heading north. Uh, once dealt with, then we will uh, obviously go back and uh, claim our reward. And then after that, we'll go and see if we can get that um, magical amulet for the guy who's missing it. Just keep heading north, we should be okay. If only there was some sort of quick travel and Haha, <laughs> all your friends died. <laughs> only there was some sort of quick travel around this island, that would be useful. I would be freaked out if I saw fire coming out of the river like a lake like that. Anyway, let's go. Let's delve into these caves. Actually, if we go to the end of this dead end, pick up that axe and my axe. And then head this way. Hopefully nothing's respawned. Head this way, then this way, then into here. Here we go. Into the lair. To eel sleeps. Quick saving because we don't know what to expect down here. 
bleed out in preparation of having to fight something nasty. Nasty. Ah, immediately they give us... Hmm. Another locked chest. What's in this one? Okay. Uh, a war hammer. Don't care too much about that. We'll take that. And we'll leave everything else in there because we don't care about common rings. Common rings? Oh, how common! <laughs> right. I don't know if we should keep to the left like we do normally. Something this way. Ah, that might be our man, actually. We'll approach him, see if he wants to chat. There we go. You are brave or foolish to enter this place, Dark Elf. But I sense a bit of wisdom in you, perhaps. I might kill you where, where you stand. Were you to try and keep me from my task. But there are more dangerous things in these caves than this poor soul. Hmm. Let's ask him about his task. I have been in this cave for many centuries. The dragger you you met in this place are not my kin. Mindless creatures driven only by desire for living flesh. My story is quite different. What is your story? Tell me about it. Hmm. Speak. I was once a mage of the people who call themselves the Skarl. I was a powerful mortal. Powerful beyond their reckoning. But I strayed. I delved into the black arts, became learned in the ways of necromancy. When this was discovered, I was cast out by my own people. Alone, I wanted this place were cast out. I continued to learn what I could of the ways of the living flesh and the energies that animate. I became a summoner, a communicator with the Daedra. It was then I learned of their machinations, their plans to destroy my people. Destroy your people? A group of Frost Daedra had taken up residence deep in the bowels of this island. I thought, at first, that it was my doing that I had somehow summoned these fiends, but they were beyond my abilities. I learned that they could wipe this island clean of life, slaughter my people, and all we held dear. I knew I must act. What did you do? I tried to warn my people, but I was an empty voice to them, as though I were dead. So I used my magic to erect a barrier deep in this ice, strong enough to contain these Daedra, and keep them from overrunning the island. The barrier held for years. I maintained it. But I grew old. I knew that my death would mean the death of all life on Sothersteam. You mean you grew old? You're an immortal, aren't you? My life had to be extended, so I used my knowledge of the black arts and turned myself into the creature you see before you, a dragger, eaten of, eater of flesh. But my life was infinite. I could keep the barrier intact so that my people might survive, and now you appear to kill me, perhaps. You may have the power but perhaps you have greater purpose here. Greater purpose? Fight with me, Dark Elf. Together we might vanquish these creatures and send them back to their unholy plane. I will lower the barrier and we will cleanse the land of this scourge. Her. 
I don't know if this guy is tricking me, but we have a choice. The choice, my friends, is this. Do we destroy these creatures together, or do we destroy him? Now, he says that they're evil, but what happens if they're not, and they are maintaining a balance? Ice Daedra. Keeping the place, I don't know, friendly? What happens if he's been down here wanting to to plot a way to kill the skull? I'm not sure. Although he was intent on not being discovered, then why would he tell us? Deirdre can speak though, so maybe they would have something to say if we did come across them. Alright, let's kill these creatures together. This is wise. I will lower the barrier that keeps the demons at bay. You and I will be victorious, as the lives of all those above are forfeit if we are not. Wow. Okay, my friend. Hello there. What have you got cooking? Are you just following me? Is this the barrier? Oh, I see. Hey, can you just, uh... Oh, he just wants to let's continue. Right. Well, I'll tell you what. This seems like a good place to uh, end it. And when we come back, we'll probably do a little bit of exploration after we've finished with this barrier, hopefully, if something terrible doesn't happen. But let's save up. So we made a little friend here today, guys. <laughs> Wonderful. Anyway, that is what we will do. So until then, guys, stay safe, take care of yourself, and goodbye.